Bioregionalism is a political, cultural, and ecological system or set of views based on naturally defined areas called bioregions, similar to ecoregions. Bioregions are defined through physical and environmental features, including watershed boundaries and soil and terrain characteristics. Bioregionalism stresses that the determination of a bioregion is also a cultural phenomenon, and emphasizes local populations, knowledge, and solutions. Bioregionalism asserts that a bioregion's environmental components geography, climate, plant life, animal life, etc. directly influence ways for human communities to act and interact with each other which are, in turn, optimal for those communities to thrive in their environment. As such, those ways to thrive in their totality—be they economic, cultural, spiritual, or political—will be distinctive in some capacity as being a product of their bioregional environment. Bioregionalism is a concept that goes beyond national boundaries—an example is the concept of Cascadia, a region that is sometimes considered to consist of most of Oregon and Washington, the Alaska Panhandle, the far north of California and the west coast of Canada, sometimes also including some or all of Idaho and western Montana. Another example of a bioregion, which does not cross national boundaries, but does overlap state lines, is the Ozarks, a bioregion also referred to as the Ozarks Plateau, which consists of southern Missouri, northwest Arkansas, the northeast corner of Oklahoma, southeast corner of Kansas. Bioregions are not synonymous with ecoregions as defined by bodies such as the World Wildlife Fund or the Commission for Environmental Cooperation, the latter are scientifically based and focused on wildlife and vegetation. Bioregions, by contrast are human regions, informed by nature but with a social and political element. In this way bioregionalism is simply political localism with an ecological foundation. <inaudible> <inaudible> Overview The term was coined by Alan Van Newkirk, founder of the Institute for Bioregional Research, in 1975, given currency by Peter Berg and Raymond Dassman in the early 1970s, and has been advocated by writers such as David Hanker and Kirkpatrick Sale. The bioregionalist perspective opposes a homogeneous economy and consumer culture with its lack of stewardship towards the environment. This perspective seeks to ensure that political boundaries match ecological boundaries. Highlight the unique ecology of the bioregion. Encourage consumption of local foods where possible. Encourage the use of local materials where possible. Encourage the cultivation of native plants of the region. Encourage sustainability in harmony with the bioregion. Bioregional mapping is a powerful tool to increase understanding, change the story, and influence policy. A good bioregional map shows layers of geology, flora, fauna, and inhabitation over time. All the interdisciplinary content that is integrated in this kind of map makes it a great communication tool to illustrate an ecological approach. One of the best examples of a richly communicative bioregional map is David McCloskey's new map of Cascadia. Topic: <laughs> Relationship to environmentalism. Bioregionalism, while akin to environmentalism in certain aspects, such as a desire to live in harmony with nature, differs in certain ways from classical, 20th century environmentalism. According to Peter Berg, bioregionalism is proactive, and is based on forming a harmony between human culture and the natural environment, rather than being protest based like the original environmental movement. Also, while classical environmentalists saw human industry as the enemy of nature and nature as a victim needing to be saved, bioregionalists see humanity and its culture as a part of nature, focusing on building a positive, sustainable relationship with the environment, rather than a focus on preserving and segregating the wilderness from the world of humanity. In politics North American bioregional assemblies have been biannual gatherings of bioregionalists throughout North America since 1984 and have given rise to national-level green parties. In addition, bioregionalism spawned the sustainability movement. The tenets of bioregionalism are often used by green movements, which oppose political organizations whose boundaries conform to existing electoral districts. This problem is perceived to result in elected representatives voting in accordance with their constituents, some of whom may live outside a defined bioregion, and may run counter to the well-being of the bioregion. At the local level, several bioregions have congresses that meet regularly. 
For instance, the Ozark Plateau bioregion hosts a yearly Ozark Area Community Congress, better known as OACC, which has been meeting every year since 1980, most often on the first weekend in October. The Kansas Area Watershed Cool was founded in 1982 and has been meeting regularly since that time. CORE holds a yearly meeting, usually in the spring. The government of the Canadian province of Alberta has recently made major amendments to its land use policies including a separate, land use framework, document for each major river basin within the province. This is supported by local initiatives such as the Beaver Hills Initiative, which seeks to create a large biosphere reserve encompassing Elk Island National Park and the surrounding area. See also Cascadia Independence Movement Deep Ecology Eco-Communalism Ecological Footprint Geofence Grassroots Democracy Green Anarchism List of ecoregions Permaculture Social Ecology